Tuesday night, um, Ross and I were talking last night about how many really cool boats we've got coming through in the next few months. So what we thought we'd do is each week just have a little snapshot of what we're working on um, and focus a little bit on one boat per week. So this week we're going to talk about this Prime 821. It's got some really, really cool special features. Um, Ross, do you want to take us through some of those? Yeah, thanks James. Um, first key standout feature of this 821 is definitely going to be the fastest 821 we've ever built because you'll see it's actually got some V6s on the back. This is the first Prime 821 we're going to build with the Yamaha 250s. So we're really looking forward to dialing this boat in. We've uh, recently been out on the 941, um, which we achieved new top speeds running some 21 inch propellers. Mm. So um, we're probably going to start- 59 knots on it. 59 knots on yeah. the 941. So we'll start off with the 21s on this one. So really looking forward to seeing how this one does. Should we move around? Yeah, I just think, I just think to touch on that, I think that what's going to be crazy here is the amount of torque, isn't it? Yeah. We're going from a straight four engine to a V6. So each of these are 4.2 litre. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be crazy. So very exciting. With the 19s, I will say, these boats literally jump out of the water like sports car acceleration. So the 21, it's still got that poke. It still feels really quick off the line. But the difference is they just keep on pulling to get to that extra bit of top speed. We've got loads of cool features here around the back. Obviously, we've got the structural stainless steel tow point up there. Um, fresh water shower system for when you've been sort of wakeboarding or mono skiing or whatever, or just swimming. Um, this is a really cool feature I really like. Um, we felt that um, kind of wakeboard and ski racks were kind of, you know, they kind of ruined the look of the back of a boat. So we made this really, really neat kind of clip release solution. So when it's out there, you've just got that super sleek line and they just go together and go in a little bag and really, really easy to put back in as and when you need them. And obviously you can hold your weight boards and, and your skis coming along there. Um, really trick lights, the low po lights. Obviously everything, everything on our primes is, you know, is, is incredible. Um, let me come up and get the boat. We've some really cool stuff on the dash rock, haven't we? See, we're seeing more and more of our boats being built with dual screens, so that all looks really cool. And um, we had a call from the client today who's actually upgrading the steering wheel from the um, Atori to the Eyes Otter steering wheel, which you can see on here. It's a gorgeous looking wheel. Yeah, I think a really cool thing as well is, you know, um, as you know, Yamaha partnered with Garmin on their gauges now. So where you used to have that, you didn't have a lot of uniformity be between the gauges. You now have new Yam 2021 rigging gauge is actually like a mini Garmin. So all of a sudden when you're looking at this dash, yeah. you just got like super cool, really nice flash, almost like glass bridge like nav, nav, and then the gauges. And as you can see, they all tie together, just giving that like super clean look. And then in the middle here, the new fusion. Yeah. So coming together, this dash is, I, I think it's looking so cool. Um, 2020, all the new 2021 uh, rigging stuff as well from Yamaha. This stuff's like really nice, really well made. Um, push button start, which is really cool. Um, I, I love that. But yeah, that, that, that new dash to me is, is just so sweet. My, my favorite feature on here, it's a simple thing, but you've got the single lever control. So if you hit that, you can literally just move one of the throttles down there and just relax and use the, uh, well, whichever throttle you choose. Mm, yeah, really cool. And then into the back locker, we try and keep all of the rigging like really hidden away and everything that's on show is like super neat. So we've got all this like real teak here and then obviously all the bilge system at the back there. But when this boat is, is finished, obviously it will have a teak grate in there, which we match the cut through lines on that with exactly the lines on the flexi teak here. So whatever you chuck in the back locker, it like drains through into the bilge system. So you don't get all that like horrible damp locker stuff. And then, but the things you do need, we, we kind of keep them on show. So we've got the water um, separator valves here and the primer bulbs. And as you can see, when this locker's fitted out, it's just all super neat. All of the rigging's hidden. And the only things you can see is this, which is all just clipped back. Um, really really cool even within the lockers we still polish all the stainless yes, because yeah. you know when you want this locker to open you want to be super impressive and this thing is just massive you can just get so much stuff in there that's the you know, thing with that locker my yeah. brother's dad's got one of these in the marina and he actually leaves his weight boards in there yeah so he doesn't always have to take his kick to the marina every time yeah. he goes out exactly and i think it's just doing things properly you know and um you know lovely like stainless stainless drainage here um, going into the low level lighting, you've got the Fusion Signature Series audio. Yeah, so this, this boat is just going to be crazy and I, I just can't wait to get it out on the water. So, 
so proud of what we're building here. Yeah. And I, I, yeah. I think it is just going to perform incredibly well in this really nice kind of ribeye grey. Um, so yeah, we, we keep tracking this boat and, and see how it goes. Next week, we're gonna focus on this beast next to us, which is the bigger, the, the boat up from this. This is the Prime 941. Um, that's going to be a twin 300, isn't it? Absolutely. I think I was having like lovely red seats, isn't it? Red lava and, diamante uh, seats. Is with it cross all stitching. blacked out T tarp? And yeah, you'll see on the ski mask, it's all, it's, all, um, it's all powder coated. And every boat in here is different. That's the cool thing. Yeah. So we're looking forward to sharing the details. Yeah, with no you. two boats are the same, are they? Yeah, so we keep, we keep checking back in every week and just going through um, what's, what's really cool and what's happening.